So I said earlier this nostalgia case will be on um, a, a medieval film. And because uh, The Last Kingdom is medieval, so I thought we'd do a nostalgia case on a medieval film. So uh, this film was released in the 90s, directed and starring. Mm, oh, shit. Uh, that was it. That was the last one. Shit, my bad. I don't have the DVD for this. Da 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 da. We got Braveheart. We got Braveheart. We got Braveheart. Yeah, yeah. We got Braveheart. This so beautiful movie. Um, uh, the the battle scenes from this are just hilarious. Um, despite historical inaccuracies, Braveheart is beautiful. It's about a, um, the Scots were being abused by the England in like, you know, the year 1300 and, um, they're being abused by the British people and the British people are abusing their power and specifically the king and, uh, this guy suffers various amounts of tragedies with his family related to, uh, the British people abusing their power. And uh, he starts a revolution with the Scots. William Wallace, even though he is not the king of the Scots, he leads a revolution. And uh, man, does this revolution impact fellow Scottish people? Very patriotic, but character the characters are lovable. You love them. They're funny. I love them. I fucks with them. And um, they all got the blue dye ready. And they're off fighting. Would have liked the training montage. That would have been fun. Nah, I'm just fucking. Up. I'm messing with you. But nah, um, mm, I always like Robert the Bruce's character in this, and it's good to know that they kind of made a sequel to this with the uh, Captain Kirk's remake, Chris Pine. Oh my god, my voice is cracked. Yes, Mike, you're 16. And, uh, Outlaw King was kind of a sequel with, like, uh, a certain character dies at the end of Braveheart. And, um, relating to the revolution, and it's about the Scottish king following in the footsteps of William Wallace and trying to retake, um, England for the, uh, in, instead of, I'm mean, not retake England, retake Scotland, because it's being controlled by England. And, uh, yeah, Mel Gibson knows what he's doing, he deserved the Oscar. Truly, truly deserve the Oscar for this. This is one of those, like, it gets the Oscars. The Oscars have a history of picking historical movies that are not good or movies that have a political point or just BS instead of picking the rightfully good movie. And with this, we get a good movie pick by the Oscars' best picture. Like, I prefer movies like genre movies that don't make it to the Oscars that maybe win like small independent film awards like you know last year's Uncut Gems in the Lighthouse which won a lot of awards in the independent film festival circuit as well as independent film festivals like uh yeah I'm not a big Oscar guy I still watch them though Joaquin Phoenix did not deserve it I'm gonna make a whole video on why I don't like Joker to me Joker was kind of mindless garbage when I first saw it I was like oh my god it's so beautiful it's a work of art and then I saw other movies that came out this year and then saw the movies that Joker was basically copying, like King of Comedy, You Were Never Really Here, and Taxi Driver, and also just rewatching The Dark Knight, I was like, Heath Ledger was just, it's one of the greatest performances ever, everybody says that, but it's true. Um, yeah, I don't really watch The Dark Knight that much, I've seen it too much, but uh, it's better than Joker. It's better. Joker's... So boring, and it, people just give it a, a close to society. No, I don't care. 
I just want a movie to be fun and enjoyable instead of watching. Like, tragedies can be pulled off in a fun and exciting way. <clears throat> Uncut Gems. But, uh, this wasn't fun and exciting. Joker was not fun and exciting as a tragedy. And I just got to make a whole video on why I do not really mess with Joker. <laughs> I'm sorry if you all you Joker fans. It was too morbid. I, I truly... Yeah, I really want to make a structured video on why I don't fuck with Joker. Yeah. Now, Braveheart, uh... It's one of those historical movies that has, like, a distinctive personality. Like, there's mooning of the soldiers across the battlefield. Like, who will not do that? If you're, like... Say, like, China invaded us and we were fighting against them and wouldn't you just moon them and just be like fuck you like it's just like it's brave heart so much fun and uh of course it's a rewatchable a oh, while why else would i be talking about it uh the love the love relationship was decent but then when he sees her like yeah it was, I, I bet at first i was like okay it's a bit sudden and then i loved it with um the french queen fucking them french ladies yeah good for him good for william and mel gibson i'm about to talk about his movie dragged across concrete dude that was so good oh, oh my god i mess with that movie so much you guys don't know how much i love dragged across concrete and you're probably like what why my dragged across concrete was like uh I don't want to go into it. I'm going to make a whole fucking video essay on it. But it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It's basically cops get fired. Have to do illegal stuff to for their families. Very em empathetic movie. You care about a lot of people. Crazy. Uh, ripping off drug dealers. Crazy fun action. But it's also slow. And has a lot of good character moments. Yes. I will talk about Drag Across Country. And Mel Gibson is in that. Another Mel Gibson classic is Mad Max. If you're a fan of Fury Road, watch the old Mad Maxes. Not enough people do that. Then they should. Because Mad Max is just fucking... It's so, like, beautiful. It's just, it's just like... Post-apocalyptic photo. I haven't seen signs. I know a lot of people have seen signs with them. Mel Gibson, another post-apocalyptic thing. It's about Mel Gibson post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic movies. And uh, yeah, I gotta watch Signs. And also, that's Shyamalan. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. All I know is it's post-apocalyptic. Oh yeah, the crop fields. Cause I remember I was looking at the list of movies. Uh, Fucking parodied on Scary Movie 3. Scary Movie 3 is one of the best. I love that movie so much. Oh my. Okay. I just had to turn the camera on. All right, we're back. Yeah, I mess with um post-apocalyptic movies. I gotta check out Signs, and also I love the scary movie movies. They parody like scary movies, and thrillers, and I love parodies, especially Spaceballs. Oh my god, Spaceballs. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> um, yeah, Braveheart, solid old flick, good medieval she is it. And uh, I think that's all we've uh, covered on the uh, Haskest, and all we I have the cover on the Haskest. Got a tissue for your tears, count your years, you got way more than you think. No one's better than our clique, same brainwave, yeah we all in sync. Don't know what to think when they push you to the brink. When you hear that click, clack, can't see the kickback. Tense of living when the millions fall.